All right, this is a story about how I turned a linen beige couch into a beautiful sunflower yellow by using spray dye. Now this is my old couch. It's seen better days, but it served me well for many years. But it had to go before I could replace it with another couch. So off it went to the roadside. And it didn't take long before somebody picked it up and it found a new home. I knew exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that would show off my newly refinished floor underneath, namely a petite yellow linen sofa with wooden legs. After scouring the internet, I couldn't really find what I wanted in my price range. Nothing fit my exact description or price. But finally I did. Behold, it was exactly what I had envisioned. Surprisingly, it was on that annoying website that constantly bombards people with ads, offering prices that seemed too good to be true. So I was really skeptical at first, but I had few other options in my budget, and it had good reviews, and it also had wooden legs. So I went for it. However, they didn't have the color I wanted, the sunflower yellow. All they had was gray and white. So I decided, well, why don't I just get the beige one or the white one and turn it yellow by using spray dye. There has to be something out there that you can use to change the color of furniture. Well, unbelievably, it just took a few days and the delivery man showed up at my front door with a big box. I was very surprised. I was really eager to see what was inside. Obviously, with the picture on the front, I knew what it was but I wanted to take a look. So inside it was a neatly packed sofa bottom and inside the bottom were the arms and two bolster pillows. And they were just tucked right in there. Everything was packed really neatly, really strategically. Even my cat Ginger was curious to see what was in the box. Now inside a small package on the inside was the legs and the hardware. I just wanted to see if they were really wooden legs and yes, they are wooden legs. <laughs> so I, I brought it all inside, laid it out on my living room floor and proceeded to assemble it, which basically was just putting the legs on. It was all there and all I had to do is put the legs on. So once the legs were on, I tipped it over to see what I had. And to me it was, a, it was exactly what I wanted. A couch with arms that come off and wooden legs that raise up off the floor, not too big, nice and small, and there it was. Now let's see how comfortable it is. Ah, a little stiff, but amazing. Look at that, the back folds down into a little bed. And I bet if you took the arms off, you'd be able to spread your legs. So there it was. So I was ready to do the next step, to color it yellow. So I found this product and um, there were a lot of other products on the market, but it seemed like this one was specifically for coloring fabric. So I decided to use that. And it called for four bottles to do a couch. And it said if you're going to spray it, you have to mix it half and half with water for sprayers. So I measured out my water and I used a little water to clean out the uh, container, the leftover paint in the container. And shook it up really good and mixed it in a, a mason jar. Now I had these old sprayers. I haven't used them in a long time and I think they were pretty cheap ones. So I tried using, I had a big one and a small one, so I tried using the smaller one first. And I considered uh, straining the paint, but then for some reason I decided not to. And that was a big no-no. I found that out later. So 
So I tried the little sprayer and it just wasn't coming out properly. And it surely wasn't the paint. Well, maybe it was the paint, but it just, no matter how much I adjusted it, it just wouldn't come out the way I wanted. I tried it a little bit, it was coming out a little bit. So I tried it on the bolsters and it just seemed like I could get more paint to come out of that. Finally, it just stopped working. So I tried various adjustments and decided I'm gonna try the big paint sprayer. This time, I filtered it. I put it through a screen. And I'm glad I did because look at what was in the screen. Just globs that would have just gotten stuck in the paint sprayer. This sprayer was spraying a whole lot better. And I had that turned up and I was taking some nice sweeping motions like you should when you're spraying. Not staying in one place very long or at all. And so my bolster test was almost done. So they looked pretty good. So I got one of the arms out and started doing the inside of one of the arms just to be safe. And it wasn't going on as heavy as I wanted it to, but it was doing the job and I was content to just take my time better a little bit than too much at once. So it took pretty much a whole bottle, not exactly a whole bottle, to do both arms and both of the posters with the first coat. So I decided to mix up some more. Now it was time to do the main cushions or the what do you call it, the, the back and the bottom. Evidently my dog had lain on it so there was some dog hair on it. So I took a piece of duct tape, rolled it up and it picked up all the hairs real easy and any other debris that might have fallen on there because it was kind of a windy day that day. So you could see what I was able to pick up with the duct tape. And because it was a windy day, I decided to prop the bed up to face the wind so that the spray would just fly right into the mattress instead of get blown away in the wind. I used a stick on the back and just propped it up. And I wanted to get the crevices and the buttonholes and all the hard to get places first so that I could go right over the whole thing afterwards. There I am getting the sides and the front.
So once I got the whole surface of the bed, I was able to lay it down again and touch up anything that was showing. And then I decided to prop it up on the sawhorses and put it all together and give it one last coat just to make sure. This was the last bottle and I think the sprayer was already full so I mixed up one more bottle just to give it one good finish coat. I did have some left over afterwards and I was actually able to spray my bar stool covers. And there it was. When it had dried, I put it back in my living room and it was just exactly what I had envisioned. I was so pleased with the outcome. And so now there it sits in my living room. Every time I look at it, it brings me joy. I just love my little couch. <laughs>